Guys, you want to make this a tradition here at Ron Asia? I mean, I'm a long yeah. ways out, but start making a run at uh, Bernard's record? I mean, that's something definitely I thought about yesterday in the press conference and him talking to me and looking at the past champions. There's so many great models on that list, and I'd like to, I'd like to put myself on there for a few more years. Now, of course, you want to peak over the summer. Uh, I mean, to run a 3.53 in, in February, and you have so many more months to go. I mean, where, how do you kind of maintain a certain sort of timetable to be peaking, you know, for the yeah. Olympics? Trials and Olympics when you're already running 3.53 right. here, you know? I think, Are you ahead uh, of schedule? Yeah, I definitely. I mean, the workouts indicated uh, around 3.55, so just to be able to race this fast with the workouts I'm doing gives me a lot of, uh, a lot of room for improvement. Mm-hmm. What do you... Go ahead. Fresh on that pretty big fish to fry. Is there some part of you that kind of wishes you had that collegiate record now too? No, you know, it's a good question. Uh, when I made a decision to go pro, you know, um, my dad made a... asked me a good question to make sure that if there's anything left in the college, um, in my college uh, career that I didn't accomplish yet or would like to. And I said, no, you know, those, those records are meant to be broken and it had been great to have it, but, you know, I, I, I was content with what I accomplished in college. So, I mean, it would have been great to, to do it, but... At the same time, um, this is the route I picked, and I'm happy with it. And what are your plans the rest of the winter, indoor season? I'm going to go back to Eugene, uh, talk to my coach, see what makes sense. I like to do a couple more indoor races, so we'll see. Like nationals, or? Yeah, I think that's one of, one of the possibilities, and there's not really too many more opportunities, so we'll see. And if you were on the uh, team for the uh, World Indoor, would you yeah. take that, or is that yeah, definitely for Turkey? So, yes. You would, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy competing, so mm -hmm. that's a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. Notice you're wearing the Hollister jersey tonight. Talk about what it means to have Nike in your back and know that out for you. Yeah, this idea was from last week uh, when uh, the Oregon Project guys wore for the Boston meet. And at the time, he wasn't doing so well. And we, we wanted to know it was around his birthday, so we wanted to, to let him know that you know we're thinking about him and praying for him. And um, in case you guys didn't know, he passed away this past week. So uh, this is a great tribute to him and hope he's watching. Can you talk about your involvement with the Oregon Project being that you're in Eugene still working with Andy Powell. Yeah. Is there going to be a transition? Like, what's that about? Yeah, eventually I'll probably move up to Portland full-time, but right now it's kind of been it's been good to have both of their inputs in, um, which is kind of making a nice smooth transition for next year. How much is it? How much is the, the balance between Andy and Alberta? Andy's writing the workouts, and Alberta's just kind of, um, you know, traveling to some meets who'll be there with me, and if it makes sense to do workouts with his team, then they'll, they'll coordinate it, so, in that way.